Happy first day of fall. Welcome to Central Valley Talk Live. It is 12.09 on this 22nd of September. I'm so happy it is fall. The only bad news is I was just looking at the forecast and it it looks like we're going to be warming up uh, starting today and then through the weekend. So uh, obviously that always happens when it's uh, the first day of fall and it's warm. Because uh, we're in Fresno, California. What are you going to do? Hey, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Austin Reed on Air. We're going to be live and local until right around 3 o'clock today, so make sure you stay with us. We're going to kick things off with my first guest. Please welcome Mary Lee. She is with the Special Needs Network. So, Mary Lee, welcome to Central Valley Talk. Well, thank you so much, Austin, for having me today. It's really great to be back. The last time I was there, it was quite warm, so I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. It's crazy. The weather is just absolutely crazy. It is. It is. And it looks like, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm annoyed that the first day of fall is when we're warming back up, you know? Uh, Now, where, where are you based out of? I'm based in Los Angeles. How's the weather down there? Well, we're doing the same thing. We're going to warm up, but it won't be quite as hot as Central Valley. We are probably in the Inland Empire. They're supposed to hit, uh, and in some areas in the valley, they're supposed to hit the hundreds. But in the Los Angeles area, we'll get close to the 90s. And that's a little uncomfortable for us. You're darn right. uh, We'll we'll feel it. Two weeks ago in Fresno, we uh, were seeing highs close to 115. I heard. Yeah. So uh, this is like 90s. Kind of like what you were saying. Yeah, the 90s are going to – it's like we're going to be in the Inland Empire. So, Um, well, okay. So, Mary Lee, tell me, what is the Special Needs Network? I want to hear all about it. Yes, well, we're grassroots, nonprofit, and uh, we work statewide uh, as a disability and social rights uh, organization. Okay. We work primarily with um, most of the marginalized families that may not have access to a lot of the uh, larger systems of care. And primarily, developmental disabilities is the area that we work with. And many of those families are served by a system that California uniquely has uh, called regional centers. And uh, they work with the families to provide potential services that um, folks with uh, individuals with developmental and intellectual disabilities would need. And what we do, a core of it is to really work to empower and to uh, get our families educated, our parents and caregivers educated on being effective advocates for those individuals who have unique needs in terms of their living style or health care needs or educational. And that's why, you know, we're here today. We really want to share with our Central Valley community some of the things that we're doing. We have a signature uh, parent advocate training program, which we have brought to the Central Valley in the past. Uh, It's been set up so that it's virtual. So it's very convenient all throughout the state, all throughout the country. We've had folks during COVID uh, from as far as Florida, New York, uh, because people have needs for their individuals. And again, a lot of times they don't know where to go, where to call. So we are that bridge uh, to being able to help them to access resources and supports that are necessary for better outcomes, uh, life outcomes for their loved ones. And coming up on October. October the 4th, from 6 to 8, we're going to have a virtual town hall to address something that many of our parents have experienced in utilizing these regional centers. Uh, It is, they are centers that are funded through a state program, a state agency. However, we find that over $66 million have been put into this program, but we don't see a lot of change. There are some significant 
racial uh, disparities and gaps in services. Many of our parents, uh, they tell us when they come to the trainings that they have been trying to get a service for their child, but they've been put off or denied. And so we, we want to share with the community and have everyone come on and share their voice throughout the state so that whatever systemic changes that we need to do through our legislative partners, uh, also through some of our service providers to be able to improve these service, but also to ensure that everyone, no matter where you live, no matter how much money you have, you can get equitable health care uh, and medical services that you need for your loved ones. So that's a that's a big part of what we do, raising that awareness, uh, really galvanizing our parent advocates, because those are the everyday advocates for these individuals. Would you say there are there are resources available, but sometimes it's just hard to navigate where and how to find them? That does exist. Uh, it, usually in every city, every state, there are some resources. However, we have found and the studies have shown that there can be just like in certain cities we, we have here where there might be deserts for markets or for medical uh, facilities or even uh, professionals that are equipped to serve. So resources may be there, but they may be only um, uh, in particular areas where and that could mean that a parent would have a transportation barrier right. or they might not have knowledge of it or it could even be an out-of-pocket cost that they couldn't afford so these are the things that we're seeing and we're really working to move these barriers uh, out of the way for care we've got about a minute left anything else you wanted to mention anything that i missed I want to share our website because we can get people registered to attend this very important town hall. It's going to be October 4th from 6 to 8, and our website is www.s nnla.org. There you can also find other information about our organization and most especially these parent training programs that we have. Mary Lee, Special Needs Network down in Southern California, but serving the entire state. Uh, we appreciate you introducing us uh, to the Special Needs Network. Well, introducing me since this was my first interview with you. And uh, you guys, it sounds like you're doing amazing work. So um, more to come, right? Yes, indeed. And I certainly will plan to return. Um, it was great to be back today. And you all try to stay cool in the Central Valley. We will. Fingers crossed. Thank you, Mary Lee. Thank you. I'm Austin Reed. This is Central Valley Talk. We'll be right back.